Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome to episode 7 of the FIV15 Arsenal career mode. And obviously in the last episode it was the transfer window and we made two good signings in Ricardo Rodriguez and uh, Ibora. Obviously from Wolfsburg and Dingies and um, oh, who's the other team? Uh, Severe. So I'm just going through my emails at the moment as you can see in the FA, in the next round of the FA Cup we have got um, Nester City. Now to start off the episode we go into the really big match, the North London derby against Tottenham Hotspur. This time we are away. We are at, we are at White Hart Lane. And hopefully, and obviously in the last game against Tottenham in a reverse fixture, we won four 0 I believe it was. So coming up now should be the Premier League table. Oh no, it's just the introduction. Uh, for some reason, I took my time in um, just skipping this bit. I don't actually know why. I think I was just like, yeah. So there's for Tonga. Debushi was actually captain for this match, which I don't remember giving it to him. I thought it was Murtasaka. But, you know, doesn't really matter. And as you can see, we are top of the table by a good five points over Liverpool with Chelsea in third. So if we can win this game, then we will go eight points clear. And one of my friends came online while I was recording this. <laughs> but as you can see, here's Dan Welbeck. Lovely turn to get away from. I think that might be in for Tongan. Goes through, cuts back, and smashed it into the bomb. Bottom right hand corner from his angle, and he scores yet another goal. I think that's uh, I think that's his tenth league goal. So he's pr doing really well in his first season at Arsenal. See, I'm a little bit further ahead than um, what it what it is in real life. I know he's only got about five goals in all competitions, but yeah. <laughs> So Danny Welbeck gets his, gets another goal of the season, and don't forget he could have actually signed for Tottenham, but so I think they're a bit uh, annoyed by that. And we do go into half time. There's really not much going on in the second half. I mean, there were shots happening, but not not really any to test either keeper. There's one from Özil just going a little bit wide of Lloris's post, and just some half other half time scores. Uh, so I believe we go into the match facts next. Um, obviously, we were dominating Tottenham in terms of shots, five, well, three on target today, zero, and obviously we got the one goal. And now we're going to second half, and it took it didn't actually take us that long to get a second goal. Here is uh, this Santa Casola and Debussy of all people was up front. I was just like, okay, so he's going to go through and score that. <laughs> I didn't, I did not realise he was going to be up there. I was just like, okay, because previously I did have an attack on with him. But they kind of cleared it, so I guess he kind of just stood up, stayed up there. Just kept on running, and I thought, you know, he's, he's up there. Might as well go for goals, so, and that's what he's done. So that's a nice little goal there by um, Matteo Debucci. And that is his first goal of the season. And it's only taken him a few games. It's only taken him, what, 20 odd games maybe, roughly, to get... No, it can't be that much. There yeah, must be about 20 odd games to get his first goal. As you can see, that's a lovely through ball into Danny Welbeck. He's just going to keep running. Defence is not going to catch up with him. And he just slots home into the back of net for his. I can't actually. I think. I see the, that might be. Oh, I don't know. Your guys are going to see, but I know, he's, I know he's into double figures now. He's got to be. And then after that, I do make some substitutions. So I bring on Walcott, Ibora for his debut. And I think it was Wilshire as well. And yeah, other than that, that, that was pretty much it. So, not too bad of a game. We did win by three goals to nil. Daniel Welbeck and Matteo Debushi getting the goals for the Gunners. And we are rocking and rolling in the uh, Premier League. We are doing absolutely fantastic. And this team is pretty OP at the moment, even though we haven't got that many world class players. But, you know, when you're playing Daniel Welbeck and he's scoring goals for fun, it's going to happen. Uh, what do I do here? Oh yeah, similar game against uh, Leicester City. This is in the league. This is not the FA Cup. This is the league. And hopefully we can pick up a victory here. We do. We win by two goals to nil. Danny Welbeck and I can't really see who scored that other goal. But I know that's a nice little two nil victory over Leicester City. And now we're going to. Uh, this is the ho another home game. This is against Aston Villa. Hopefully we can pick up another three points. Can we? 
Yes, we do. Win by three goals to one. Kieran Gibbs getting two, and Alexis Sanchez yeah. getting the other two. I mean, Gibbs got one. Um, I think that's Brian Ruiz who's not, who's transferred to Aston Villa. He got uh, Aston Villa's goal, so it's we couldn't keep a clean sheet. But I'm not really that fast. And this is the FA Cup game. This is this is against Leicester City. Hopefully, we can pick up uh, another victory in order to go through and keep progressing on. I would like to do the domestic double. And <coughs> look at that! An absolutely Outstanding win, 5-1 victory over Leicester City, Abu Dhabi, Chuck Wilshire and a hat-trick from Olivier Giroud. Uh, Joa getting the other goal and Danny Drinkwater getting sent off for them. So that's a nice victory for us and now we're going to another game and then this popped up. France want me to manage them. Now, I didn't decline because obviously I'm not interested in the um, international management but... You know, France, maybe. So what do you think I should do there, guys? Should I accept it or should I not bother? <laughs> so do go into this game against Aston Villa. Let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to accept France or not. But yeah, we do go into a game against uh, Everton. I waited a little bit to go into the game because I wanted to hear what other, how other teams were going on. So uh, adding on the goal news. So, and obviously, I, can't, I honestly can't remember what happened in the last game. We may have beaten them. I can't actually remember. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's a little bit uh, annoying. That I can't remember what happened in the last game at uh, Goodison Park. I know in real life we drew 2 2 at Goodison Park. So, and as you can see, top of the table, now we have actually grown a gap. gap uh, it is now 7 points over Chelsea, who've moved above Liverpool. So, obviously, Liverpool have dropped points somewhere, and Chelsea have gained points. Now watch this ball, that's a lovely through ball by Ozil and what a goal by Daniel Welbeck, absolutely incredible stuff. And that is his 15th goal I think in all competitions, so he's got about 10-11 in league. But what a goal, that was a nice over the, over the top through ball there by, I think that was Mesut Ozil and wow, first time, pretty much on the, that is pretty much on the volley isn't it? But wow, I wasn't going to control that because I think that was, uh, I think it was Jagiel. Oh no, it's Distan. I thought if I controlled it, I think Distan probably would have attacked me. So it's a good thing I just went for it. And Danny Welbeck, mate, what a fantastic goal. And what a strike he's turned out to be in my career mode. Absolutely incredible. We now skip into half time now. I thought it was uh, going to be another, it was going to be another attack for us, but the referee decided to blow for half time. And we have a goal up thanks to that wonderful goal by Danny Welbeck. I mean,. I literally don't know how I scored that. I was just like, wow, what a goal by Danny Welbeck. And yeah, we're going to second half. Hopefully we can pick up more goals. They decided to make a change. I think Pienaar went off. No, Pienaar came on and actually went off. So, no, someone more experience coming on for them. And we start the second half. And we're on attack again. Here goes Mesut Ozil. Lovely over the top pass. Into Danny Welbeck. He's going to keep on running. He's going to cut back. And he's going to finesse that into the court. Hits the <laughs> And he's going to finesse that. Hits the post and goes in. And that's definitely got the lead goals. But again, I can't see because it's too blurry. I know it's definitely double figures though. So that is absolutely fantastic from Danny Welbeck. That's maybe, that may actually be his 12th league goal. I'm not too sure. I'm, in, maybe in the next episode I will... Show the uh, player stats to see who's doing well, who's scoring the most goals, who's getting the most assists, keeping the most clean sheets, getting the most yellow cards, etc, etc. We do make a few sub. I think it was one substitution there or two, I can't remember, because <laughs> I kind of cancelled it out, so that was a bit annoying. And that actually ended the game, so we couldn't win by like four or five goals, but you know, we still get a yeah, nice victory there. 2 0 over, over Everton, and Danny Welbeck gets in the two goals, so yeah. I think Dan, Dan Welbeck's first goal is definitely, is definitely the best. And it's, I think it's the best goal I've ever scored, to be honest. I um, can't think of any other goals I've scored. Maybe the um, Cazorla free kick against United, I think it was. Maybe in United, I can't actually remember. But, may, but I think, I don't know. I haven't really decided on whose goal was better, Cazorla, Al Cazorla and Welbeck. But here we go. This is the Premier League table. And as you can see, we are, I believe that is seven points clear still of Chelsea. So Chelsea obviously won their game. Liverpool dropped down into third and Man United are in fourth. And in the bottom half, it's Burnley, Crystal Palace and Leicester City occupying the bottom three. But it's still quite close. I think maybe Leicester will go down. They're only on 11 points. And we go into a squad report now. Just to see how players are getting on. 
and other stuff. Uh, so Wojciech Chesney hasn't really grown. Don't forget you can pause to check out player stats if you want to. Uh, Mertesack still growing there. He's gone up by once. Uh, Cassioni up by two, now three. And look at this, Rodriguez has gone down. Remember I signed him as an 80 overall. He's 22 years old and he's decreased already. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it's because of his injury he picked up. I do not know, but no movement from Ramsey. A uh, base turn overall. Casola hitting 30. May grow maybe one more. I'm not too sure, but I will look to bring someone else in. Uh, Casola, uh, not Casola. Well, but they're doing really well. Walcott not really using him, but I will want to use him um, soon because I do f I do feel bad about leaving him out. Ibora no movement, but he's only just joined. Wilshire, no movement again, just like FIFA 14, no movement for Wilshire. Joel Campbell doing really well, he's actually unhappy and I think I may ha I think he may want to leave uh, come the summer. Phil Jones, third choice send back, doing really well. Gibbs still doing very nicely there. I use up to 81 so maybe he can be a replacement for Cazorla. Flamini definitely going to be selling him. I think we've got some players who are out on loan. Uh, where's Ogbonna? Let's have a look. Ogbonna, no movement from him. He's on bad form, but hopefully he will grow and get some more um, overalls and increase on his stats. So, yeah. That is it for this episode then. Then, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this. And if so, please leave a like. Please subscribe as well. Comment whether you think I should accept that France offer or not. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, lads. Peace and bye.